Hello, good morning, and welcome to week 101, our 101st video, Living with Alzheimer's. You know, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who commented and, and watched last week's video. I know it was a bit lengthy, I think, um, but yeah, my wife's got a lot to say, and I think it's so important to have her input um, on, uh, on, on these videos and have that recorded. And I'm going to try and persuade my camera shy wife to to come on more often because I, I just think that it's so valuable. And instead of having her on every now and again with one long video, try and get her on with a few shorter ones. Um, that would be a, a good thing. Uh, this week has been the first week of the restaurant that makes mistakes, and um, that also has been has been a wonderful thing to be part of, and uh, something that I'm very proud of of what we have achieved as as a group for that um yeah do watch next week and do try and watch all of them because they're uh, yeah I, th I think they're a great insight into into this condition now this week <coughs> i want to talk a little bit about illness and injury um <coughs> i have sometimes people say to me sometimes you know you 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 look so well um you know, you you look well, and yeah, and I'm fit, and I'm healthy. And do you ever do you ever have any problems? Do you ever are you ever unwell? And uh, very often, I'm sure the answer is no. Because I don't remember if I'm unwell, and this is a key thing. This is something that I don't think people often realise. People like me might be under the weather for a day or two, <clears throat> with various things, or we have various health issues, but. Unless they're long-term issues that we've had for a long while, then we just forget. One of the key things is that I'm, I'm very active. I do lots of gardening and cycling and that sort of thing, as you know. And I'm always cutting my finger, bruising myself, scratching myself or whatever. And I never can remember what has happened or where it's come from. So... There we go, we've got um, the, um, the Alex, Alexa, whatever it is, is now reminding me to have a drink, so I've got to do that in a minute. That's, uh, that's pretty good, actually, this came on during the video. But, yeah, getting, getting back to that, it's, it's very similar to, for argument's sake, you looking at your, your hands, and then all of a sudden a scratch appears, just as though somebody has just done it that second. I can injure myself, and my wife will say, what have you done to your finger? And I said, do you know, I, I really have got idea. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, it just appeared. So unless someone's there with me, um, we, I, I, I don't remember what has happened. And it's the same as being unwell. If I'm unwell for a few days, and sometimes me being a stubborn man, I probably won't tell the people around me. And they don't know. Now, this is a key thing that I've come to learn, that I've got to tell people when I feel a little unwell. Because I will forget that I've felt unwell. I'll forget in a, a few hours, a few days, or whatever, the next day, that um, anything has happened at all. And there might be some pattern that somebody else will be able to, uh, to see if I inform people that I will not. So there might be something that I've eaten or something that I, I'm not doing right that is making me unwell or somewhere I've been or whether it's, you know, hay fever, pollen or whatever it is. There's these issues. So we must learn to tell other people about our, our condition, um, injuries or whatever. And that's something because somebody else has to remember for us. And I know it's, it's probably more for somebody else to do, but in, in the long term... It's a sensible thing to do because other people can manage stuff for us a little bit better. Do you know, it's funny really, it's all about solutions to, to problems. And dementia is very much like me looking at my hand. I know that I've got this condition and I know that gradually bits of my brain are gradually disappearing. And it's like watching the fingers on your hand gradually losing uh, the, the fingers over a period of time and having half a finger and then no finger and that sort of thing. And it's about adapting to those situations, so adapting to using a hand with less fingers in it, I suppose, really. And, and part of that adaption is telling others that that we're not feeling well because uh, it's, it's it's the right thing to do and let others manage that for us. So, so basically, I haven't got to got to worry about it. 
I end up with bruises sometimes on my knees or my arms and that sort of thing and I just have no idea where they come from and, um, and, and what has happened. And I'm fairly certain that I have fell off various bikes over the, um, over the months or whatever and, um, I, you know, a big bruise somewhere and my wife will say, how did you get that? I said, no idea. And if Debs hasn't seen that I've fallen off a bike or whoever is cycling with me at that time hasn't seen it, then nobody is ever going to know. It's just been lost. So there we go. Um, yeah, I hope that's just something that, I, that I've, I just thought that people should know. Now, we've got the cycle challenge. Not this weekend, but next weekend. The 20... Oh dear, I better, I better look because I might get this wrong. We start on Sunday, the 23rd of June. That's when we leave my, um, my home village here. And um, yeah, for five days, four counties um, on a penny farthing. So um, um, what we're going to do is... Uh, during the week of the cycle challenge, and I'll, I'll mention this again because I shall probably have forgotten that I mentioned it today. Um, I'm going to do a video every single day like I think I did last year. Um, just a quick little few minute video of, of how the day has gone. So, um, so that'll, that'll be great. But I'll explain more about that uh, next week anyway. Well, I'm going to do some cycling now, today. So a bit more training, but not, not too much because I think I'm ready for it. Have a great weekend, have a wonderful week, and I will be here again next Friday with a hundred and second video. <laughs> I have to refer to these things, but that's fine, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching and listening. Bye-bye.